know, even though I completely alienated myself from Dennis Prager, any normal person would look at what I was doing by my blogging about him against his wishes as the grossest betrayal. But here I blog what a comfort I find it is to you know, go through surgery and come out of it, get home and to listen to Dennis Prager. And Dennis Prager quoted my blog post in his unsolicited email to me after I visited the Gypsy Fortune Teller. Then he wrote, I hope you remember that the next time, comma, for whatever reason, comma, you want to hurt me. So when I or anyone who's been close to Dennis Prager makes a criticism of him publicly, it's usually experienced by Dennis Prager as it's not that this person has a genuine disagreement with me, it's this person wants to hurt me. See, I was, I was always you know, much lower in status, right? I never had status comparable to, to Dennis Prager. And so I've also experienced this when you, when you get a fan, right? At various times of my life, I've had you know, this or that fan. And, and then you, you hear these wonderful things from the fan, and then you reciprocate and you try to be helpful. But you know, eventually, no one is purely a fan, all right? Everyone who's quote unquote a fan will eventually be critical or you know completely come out and publicly publicly critique you publicly uh, challenge you right and th they're not doing it really out of betrayal it's just that we always have competing values and so there may be someone you you admire right you might respect me for this or that but then I come along and say something or do something which violates your your hero system right i may violate you know everything that you find true and good and beautiful and holy and so in loyalty to your higher value system to your hero system you will feel compelled after publicly praise me to publicly critique me and then i will experience that as betrayal like how could how could this person who i thought was my my fan how could they deny me so I never had any status, right? I just always had this you know, mentor-fan relationship. And Dennis has been very clear to say, you know, I was never friends with Luke Ford. He was never a student. I, I, this was his quote to the Jewish Journal in 2007 when they did a cover story on me. He said, I think at some point I may have had a positive influence on him, but now I don't.